All right, Jonathan, now you can use this for that same video. Scoot back a little bit real quick, just so I can talk and then you can come in. Your face is in. Or you can use this for just another video. So one thing we wanted to do while we had both turbos apart, we show you guys the turbine side. This is what honestly does all the work. Yeah, this guy's got to work for the front to work. All the magic happens on the turbine side. So let's show you some. There's not much. I mean, obviously this one has been worked, but look at the size difference. In reality, the best way I can explain this is within respect, the smaller the turbine, the faster it spools. That doesn't mean the smaller the turbine, the better the turbo. It's all about pairing the turbo properly with the build and the truck that you're using it on. That's the best way I can explain that. It's not like you want to go out and throw a small turbine on a big fuel truck. Not always a good thing. And the smaller the turbine, the faster it spools, yes. But once again, in certain situations, you do better with a bigger turbine. Now there's nothing really dramatic here about the situation, I guess you could say. I'm just trying to show you guys some difference in the turbines and why this one's gonna spool really, really fast. Which for my setup, this is not a race truck, it's a tow pig. The faster the spool, the better for me because I'm trying to tow with this truck all the time. So I just want to take an opportunity to show you guys the difference as a 96, it's an 83. You can see dramatically how much different in size they are. The best advice I have is if you're looking for what's gonna pair best with your build, call us and we'd be glad to chat with you a little bit and let you, and see what you're doing with your truck so we can make sure we get you the right build, right setup for your truck. Because in some situations, especially if you're running a single S400 in the valley, this is gonna be badass. I would love to try this on a 6.0 someday. Gonna have to do that because that is dramatically smaller than this and this is gonna spool really, really fast. Uh, give us a call if you have any questions about turbos, sizing, what's gonna work best for your build. 1-800-577-2698. Be sure to click like, subscribe, follow, check us out on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all the social medias in the world. Now we're gonna get to installing it on blue jeans. We're gonna install this new Turbo Time S474 on blue jeans. And we're gonna let you know how it does. We're gonna put it to the test. For those of you that follow us, you know that I work the living dog shit out of this truck and I pull heavy all the time with it. And this thing better perform like I want it to. Don't really have any doubts, but we're gonna find out for you so that way you can buy it with confidence. So we've already got a lot of stuff set up in here. Now, obviously this is not a single setup. And it's a tight one to get in there. But, oh, maybe I should have left that. Hmm. Put that mount on with this turbo, with that downpipe in the way. <clears throat> I might just have to do this because I don't have the bolts in the, in the base. I really don't want to take the downpipe out as the problem. But if I separate the two, I might be able to get, Ooh. I don't know, we're gonna find out. I wonder if I can do this while at least having these started because I'm not gonna lie, it would not be fun to line these up with a heavy turbo on there. I'm trying to make it easy on myself and I'm just, oh, <laughs> whoops. Whoa, she arced out a little bit there, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's see if I can do that again, huh? That's gonna be a little fun here, watch out. figure out a way to get that son of a gun to sink in there. What's the equation here? It's not supposed to be doing that. Why is it not wanting to go in? Alrighty, so obviously we had some problems. Sometimes when you go from one turbo to another on a Saturday afternoon, uh, you have to do some creative engineering. 
So on the downpipe, I cut off that extension piece that comes in into the turbine housing of the, of the S400 because my old housing being bigger um, was bigger internally here. So I had to cut that off. It's not the prettiest, but I can tell you this, it should work just fine. Um, I can still seal the downpipe by doing that. So that's really what matters here. So next I'm gonna try to get the, get this guy in, get the center section in and then bolt that up. Sometimes if you don't wanna take it all apart, you gotta fight it together. I probably should have just taken it all apart at this point. It is what it is. Here we are. We're gonna fight her together. At this point, it's too late to take apart the inner fender well and do this all the other way. Okay. So now let's get that seated into there. Where do I put this one at? Right up there. I'm just getting it snugged up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Just get it snug. Now that that is there, I can wrestle these back into place. And that looks like it's gonna be fun. It looks like my pedestal is pretty close to perfect down there. Let's find out. started now we're going to pretty much use brute force to get these to line up because that's really all you can do she's hmm. gonna be a tight one for sure Basically just trying to give myself a little more play here. What I was trying to do. Okay. You know what? I've got a better idea. I don't know why there's so much difference in these houses. Is that this is gonna be not the best fucking video honestly Okay, got it there. Now I gotta try to get the gasket in there, which is going to be a fun. Motherfucking may have worked. All right, so just so everybody knows, I am gonna let my brother release this video. I was I was thinking maybe I wouldn't, but it's okay to show people that things can be troublesome sometimes and tricky, because guess what? That's the nature of what we do. That being said, on the, the cool side is it's part of figuring shit out. Find a solution to the problem. So as much as this is frustrating, the other side is it's aftermarket modifications and no matter what you think aftermarket modifications are never perfect no matter what the internet tells you aftermarket modifications are literally never ever going to go on perfectly i don't care whose turbo kit it is or 
anything of that nature, they never go on perfectly. So for like this situation, I'm gonna use this one back here to snug it all together. And then I'll go back to, I'll take that nut off that one and put that nut, put that lock washer back on there. I can promise you, if you go into modifying your truck and you think that it's gonna fit perfectly out of the box. Now, drop-in turbos are one thing. We're talking compound kit here. We're not talking your everyday situation here. This is completely different, so. As much as I want to say this all fits great, it does in the grand scheme of things, but there could be some figuring something out here and there that you have to do. And I think I've said that before on a few videos. A lot of like what we like to do with our YouTube channel is show you guys some cool stuff and then also show you some tricks on how to make things do what they're supposed to do sometimes. Oh, I need to grab an extension. It worked. It does not matter the brand. At some point, you're going to have to get creative. So we got the turbo installed. Obviously, we didn't get it all on camera. Need some extra hands was the problem. Honestly, I think the biggest difference is the fact that that's a smaller turbine housing right there. And in that process, it made it a little bit different fitment. So we got it installed. We will show you guys how it performs over the next couple of months when we're towing cross country. Just be sure to like, subscribe, follow our Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, all that good stuff. Go check us out. And um, if you're coming to a show, make sure you come out and check out the setup on the new turbo and ask me questions about it. We're going to put it to the test. So realistically, um, the best thing I can say about installing aftermarket parts, sometimes you have to get a little creative. It just is what it is. I don't know what to say. If you notice I'm in a different shirt, I forgot to do this last night, did it today. So be sure to click like, subscribe, follow. Give us a call 1-800-577-2698. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.